if I do this part. Damn. Bro. What the fuck is going on? Nigga, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared to say anything on this motherfucker. Like, this shit is like a real life, like, fucking curse. This is like a fucking curse, bro. Like, podcasting the internet itself is like a fucking curse. Like, are, am I am I tripping, bro? I'm not tripping. Like, this is like, it's so much fucking pressure because I don't want to say the wrong thing and I don't want to be caught cringe. But, man, it's so much fucking shit going on. Man, don't y'all know that nigga got shot again? Man, I'm really late type shit. I didn't pod last month. So I'm a pod for this month and like going on further. I made a promise to myself that I would like try to pod every like once a month. But this shit hard, bro. Like I said the last time, nigga, this shit hard, bro. This shit is hard. Like I'm dead ass like, wow. Like should I say, you know what I'm saying? Like, am I speaking too soon on shit? Um, I told y'all I was going to tap back in like before the election came. So, um, yeah, man, like November 2024. Um, it's Right now it's November 3rd. Well, it's about to be November 4th of 2024. And um, so much, so much stuff has happened since then. And I, I'm kind of lost as to where to like even begin to speak about it. Um, I'm gonna show y'all some footage of me real quick voting in the year 2024. Um, I'm a 27 year old black male, and I found the time out of my day to go and vote for the president that I felt best fits um, our country. And I kind of felt like it was really like kind of not only was it humbling, but it was kind of like it was kind of like it kind of gave me like this sense of like damn like bro like i'm old as i'm getting old as fuck like nobody told me to i kind of told my like i ended up voting before my parents did which is fucking crazy um it was just weird to see like you know like i brought i just it was something that i decided myself to do and it was just like yo this is the right thing to do so i'm gonna go ahead and do it um Obviously, y'all know who I voted for. I told y'all that earlier that I was going to vote for uh, Harris in the 2024 election because I just felt like she was the right fit for. I feel like she's the right fit for the country right now because women need to just have whole positions of power in politics and really have a chance to say or not even just a chance, but really be granted the ability to run. Um the world and run the country and run like you know just have powers the positions of power um so yeah this is it's crazy to see um like i said i'm 27 years old and i just feel like you know as a young black male that's the best option for us right now because even though like it's so man it's so many things that i'm like skipping over in the introduction of this pod like that is like yo dude you have to say something about that and you cannot forget so i'm gonna go look at my notes real quick <laughs> y'all know how much i'll be like disorganized with this shit but we gonna get there through this one this one's gonna be like fucking two hours i think this one's gonna be like two hours so y'all sit tight man go grab your snacks come back and chill man like this shit is crazy bro and it's just shit that i've been stressing about personally that's like going on with my family and stuff like that that i've just been like I literally had to kind of shut the world out for a second. Like every dude that kind of knows what I'm like, even in that September stretch of like all of this crazy shit, um, watching what hopefully is the falling action of this Diddy bullshit and like maybe just hopefully getting to see them just go to trial or whatever is going on. Not saying that it's not important, but just like watching all of this, like that's not even the craziest thing that's going on. Um, it's a bunch of crazy shit that happened. Like, for one, um, if y'all are like 
any and like involved in like the community in Chicago, y'all see these like vending machines popping up with the Narcan in them. Like that shit is like that shit is like it's fucking my mind up, but I know it's like more of a demonstration than it is like an actual need. Like I can tell that it's more of a demonstration than an actual need, but they were like I guess it's like, yo, like, wow, like these people are, you know, really basically showing us like the the future of like, you know, rampant drug addiction and like people needing Narcan to be accessible in certain places. Like that shit blew my mind. Um, just to really talk about real quick shit that I just remember off the top of my head. Um, several protests for what's going on in Lebanon and what's going on with um, not just Lebanon, but like all the foreign affairs situations that's going on in the country. I don't want to speak too much on it, you know, Israel and everything. Like even I remember like some of like the first episodes of me like starting this pod, we was talking about like, I believe that was like 2023 still and we were talking about like um uh israel and like the crisis the war you know war crimes and crisis and all this stuff that's like still going on and people are like so stressed about it and kind of like doing public demonstrations even in the city of chicago about like you know just the public outrage and stuff it's crazy to see that it's still going on it's not like it's something i expect to just be over with and like okay this happened so it's over with but man it's it's just weird to see um you know i can't like lie to you and say that nothing has changed since the last time i potted when i i, I really had to say this donald trump was uh, there was another attempt on donald trump's life um and this was like immediate not even immediate like i don't even think it was a month later that i recorded that pod that somebody attempted to assassinate him again um and then we had like a bunch of people like going back and forth about oh it's a hoax and it's fake and they um it it was a hoax and um it wasn't really like real or whatever and it was just like i wanted to say this and this is this is really like the the fucking the meat of this pod i wanted to call this pod fake dead because it's like this this the ability to create the perception of a legitimate news article is what we're kind of like battling in this like world of like internet legitimacy or like um reputability or like internet legitimacy or like publishing legitimacy people are like more aware now and people are more like yo like okay that's just somebody fucking posting something so it like even in that like especially like in 2023 you saw like a large amount of like people just like becoming more aware of like yo okay this is just the fucking these are just people this is just people saying shit you know what i'm saying and it was like i really had to really like really really wean myself from just dead scrolling through news articles um of course within like the last two years this is like you know it kind of frees you from feeling like to watch to see these news articles come out like violence homicide i live in the city of chicago so there's pretty much a shooting like every week so it kind of gives you this sense of like peace to like see okay craziness is happening somewhere else that's where it is it's not us and we good you know what i'm saying it kind of gives you like this sense of security to know like okay it's not me or it's not my immediate vicinity and i'm safe but um man it just i had to really find i had to really wean myself from just using this this these apps and stuff so much not even just to say like social media because i feel like we kind of people have like this big separation between what social media is and what true like news is and what true like not just news but like actual happenings and occurrences like being recorded and published to daytime television is what we you know most of us consider to be news and it was just crazy to like see how far apart they danced away from each other within the last two years of like yo like that's kind of like just for cacta or like 
or news propaganda you know what i'm saying and like it was just it, it was a crazy time man not just a crazy time but even october like i kind of like look back at the last month like yo like everything i fucking thought and felt was real and that's what the fuck just happened <laughs> I, I i was ashamed not only was i ashamed but i'm fucking embarrassed like this shit is like eating me the fuck up you know what i'm saying like all of this fucking crazy stupid ass election bullshit um not election bullshit because like who the president is is important right but like just all of this like just extracurricular bullshit you know what i'm saying it, it was crazy like you know um the month october was crazy the month of september was insane um and obviously like you know i don't want to like blame everything on entertain on the entertainment industry i feel like we give too much weight to the entertainment industry like we just give too much weight to the entertainment industry and i feel like with all of this like we're seeing one of i mean we don't really realize it until we like just really go through like the fucking file cabinets of bad boy revolt hip-hop shit and it's like hip-hop is trying to like remove and surgically remove and regurgitate what bad boy or like or what excuse me we see like the industry trying to like the we see hip-hop trying to regurgitate or like remove and like surgically remove what the fuck p diddy hip-hop and or or not just hip-hop but what p diddy and bad boy was and kind of like remove relevance to whatever it was and it was like you know it's crazy to see man it's like it's it's not just crazy to see but painful to see because this not only is that the culture that we grew up in but it was the culture that was made for us before we were here you know what I'm saying? Before we were really like paying attention to like any type of um, music consumption, we knew who P Diddy like. Like I didn't know who my favorite rapper was before I knew who P Diddy was. You know what I'm saying? Like to me, P Diddy was like you know this huge head on Mount Rushmore, and now everybody's like, no, nah, that's not Mount Rushmore anymore. You guys know we're changing it. And we just got to sit here and just like keep consuming the content of like these platforms that were made from what I'm not going to speak too much on that because I might be fucking wrong. You know what I'm saying? But it was just weird to see. You know what I'm saying? Like just kind of paying respects to all the old heads and being like, yo, y'all are hip hop. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like to see that kind of fall through and just become what it has and like turn into like i said man and, and i'm not like mr prediction i'm not mr i'm right every i know what the fuck gonna happen but my nigga they made the surviving p diddy and i think they put that bitch on that now now i don't know if it was a netflix pr production specifically really that's not even fucking important to me i don't feel like that's important to this pod i don't give a fuck who put it out but like i fucking said they made a surviving p diddy so they survived them you know what i'm saying they made a documentary about them or whatever if it, it i of course i did not watch it um it's not that i don't support women who are in abusive relationships or it's not that i don't support women period or anything like that but i just don't believe in the sub not the subculture but i just don't believe in that little that culture pocket of surviving any motherfucker I don't give a fuck if it's surviving Oprah. I don't give a fuck if it's surviving someone so bad, bitch. I don't give a fuck who it is. Surviving a motherfucker, getting paid, and then motherfuckers saying they point of view and some bullshit confessional point of view, fucking thingy, goofy, dumb shit. Fuck surviving anything. That's just that's how I still feel. I still I still feel like that. Fuck surviving. Um and these people y'all have circulated actual footage of this man and and his acts for me in my personal opinion enough for this mother for everybody to understand that this is now a bad man um i'm not gonna fight these bitches i'm, I'm excuse me i'm not gonna fight these women 
I'm not gonna get into it with these motherfuckers. Bitch, I couldn't make it if they came and got me, bitch. They would burn my ass. It, they wouldn't even have fun fucking with me because it's my shit over with. So I ain't even going, you know what I'm saying? Play with them hoes. I mean, excuse me, with them women, whatever the fuck it was. Motherfucking know just exactly how much I fucking know. And that's how I felt. Like, I'm like, damn, like, you know, um, I'm afraid because it's just like nobody's safe. And now niggas is just kind of like, who's next? And that's what scared me the most. It's just like, damn, like. We don't know who they gonna fuck up next and come find and say, ooh, 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 well, you ain't doing what we said do, so boom, we finna survive your bitch ass. That's how I feel, bro. Like, I feel like as black influencers or black, I mean, I'm a, personally, I feel like I'm a, I'm a creative artist. Um, I don't feel like I'm a social media influencer. That shit sound cliche as fuck. Um, bitch, fuck social media. Um, fuck everything, fuck all internet, bitch. I'm really an artist. If, if if I couldn't do none of this shit, bitch, I would still be fucking doing this shit. I would be doing something else. That's that's art, period. So that's how I feel about this shit. Like, man, it's an evil beast. Um, I I don't like what happened. What happened with Diddy? Um, I don't hate this man. Um. But I don't like what happened with Diddy. I hate what happened with Diddy, and I hate that this happened. Um, just like a lot of other people that I know. I know I'm not alone in feeling like that. But I'm not going to make this entire... We talked about P. Diddy. We talked about this shit already. And I'm not going to... And even months later, because this is like the fall in action of everything. Well, she said this, and this happened, and then they're going to do this on this date, and do-do-do-do-do. And that little deliberation happened right there. I'm like, bro... All this shit, bro, y'all hyping this shit and then getting clicks for this shit. Fuck that shit. We moving on. Why the fuck will we spend two years talking about this shit? That's how I feel about this shit. And matter of fact, I don't want to be no hoe unless something crazy happen. I'm going I'm to update y'all if I feel as though. But I'm going to say it for myself. This the last episode of me talking about fucking P. Diddy. I'm not finna fucking talk about this man no more. I'm tired of this shit. Every time I get on this motherfucker, it's something that's like, I'm just like, bro, for me, you know, I don't feel like it is like, obviously it deserves to be spoken about, but not everybody should have the right to feel like, oh, well, a lot of you motherfuckers ain't never seen prison. There's some shit I'm going to say real quick. It's way too many motherfuckers wishing prison and wishing jail life on motherfuckers that ain't never been to jail. You've never been to jail. So why the fuck do you want somebody to see jail if you don't even know what the fuck jail like? Facts. I'm I'm, I'm not finna keep, you know what I'm saying, being bogus. We all, I'm not, and I ain't even talking about, this on some totally different set. Totally different situation, totally different note. It's way too many men and women motherfucker you wishing jail on a bitch ass nigga and your bitch ass ain't never seen jail in your fucking life you ain't never been in a fucking pair of cuffs shut your bitch ass up because you don't know what the fuck jail like and you don't know what the fuck being held against your will is like fuck you um but that don't got nothing to do with p diddy that's just me ranting i'm talking right now there's some other shit i'm talking about but that's how i feel like in the past like six seven months I not seen way too many motherfuckers be woo 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 need to be in prison. Bitch, you don't even know. And your cousin in jail, bitch, and you don't even know. You don't give a fuck. You don't see you don't write your cousin or nothing, bitch. Shut the fuck. Bitch, shut up. Because you don't understand. And that's some other shit I be like, I know I know very little about what the fuck going on with this entertainment industry bullshit. Motherfuckers don't just how much I fucking know. You know what I'm saying? And for me it's like these hoes weighing in on the shit or like these niggas weighing in on the shit like yeah yeah he doesn't deserve to fucking live or like and it ain't just Diddy it's so many different things like shut your bitch ass up nigga your ass played baseball and then you graduated from school bitch shut your bitch ass up I said this shit too I'm like bro Motherfuckers be talking over this nigga, bro. Be quiet as hell. Get this bitch ass nigga the mic on God and make him hold that bitch and make him say whatever the fuck he gonna say. Period. I've been saying this shit. Get his, get these motherfuckers the mic, man. For real, bro. And that's I, I that shit like I've been closed up from it because 
I done got into a situation where motherfuckers would be like, oh, well, we ain't trying to hear what the fuck you got to say. It put me in my mode to where I was like, all right, cool. I don't got shit to say. But then I realized, bitch, bitch, you really, you hoes don't got shit to say type shit. You bitches is just moving with the masses. I continue to move on to another fucking point. But my nigga, this shit real, bro. Like, it's so, it's, it's some shit that need to be said. Like, bitch, stop wishing prison on niggas, period, bitch. Because you don't understand. And there's some niggas that's still in jail that can't see their family because some shit that they didn't do or there's some shit that they found themselves up in and they surroundings and shit and they don't understand. They don't really understand how to live life correct. All type of shit. What we, gonna, we ain't even going to go too, too far into that. Let's keep it plain and simple, bitch. Stop wishing prison on niggas. That's not even number one. We just gonna we but we gonna we gonna move off that. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to start this pod so negatively, but if you really was living, <laughs> that sounds stupid as fuck. But if you was living during the past during the past two months, you know exactly how the fuck I was feeling, how the fuck they was feeling. Like to really sit back and watch them people dissect that man, and then look how they was. You know what I'm saying? It's so much different shit that's been going on in the media that we got to talk about. Um, I don't want to fail y'all with this because it's a lot of shit that I miss. Um, so let's get to it, man. Let's get to these bullet points. I'm not gonna keep freestyling with y'all. This the Ellie. This mm, this the XCLNT podcast. Um, if you want to have excellent, com- if you want to have an excellent life, keep excellent company. Um, I don't know what episode this is. This is November fourth, November third, November fourth, and we gonna move forward. I had to just bring it in with that, like. You hoes was tripping. These niggas was tripping for a second right there. Hopefully this, you know what I'm saying? We can shift towards something that's like more positive and it's not like, you know, and it's my like, all we've been hearing is Kendrick, Super Bowl, Drake, pedophile, do, woo, you, bit, uh, all abortion, no abortion, pro-life, pro-choice, uh, female president, men hate, women hate, y'all bogus, sex cult, um, black sex black sex cult um crazy shit nah nah boo boo foo foo blah 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 this the xlnt podcast if you want to keep excellent company you want to keep if you want to have an excellent life keep excellent company fuck all that shit bitch we still here it's november 4th so anyways man just you know also this off some off topic shit bro i was doing some research about like aquatic life and shit and i was like one of the and it was just all my personal own fear and experience of like snorkeling and um and seeing like fucking jellyfish for the first time i was in um cozumel mexico and my my mother my, my mother took us uh my parents took us snorkeling um just like top just not completely snorkeling but like that little cool little, little baby snorkeling where you're at the top of the water and shit and i saw that like you know jellyfish will sting the shit out you when you snort you know what i'm saying you swimming around and shit man so i did some reach i'm like bro this is like something about this animal just it just scares the fuck out of me like for me for me i just feel like it's the only fucking like like this shit is just so fucking scary so i did some research on it and i found out that some species of uh of jellyfish bro are fucking immortal like this shit literally said that these bitches don't die like it's some jelly there's some species of jellyfish that just are existing and have no correlation with like like they gonna live and then don't they not gonna die as long as they like that shit fucked my head up and i was like damn so my first question was how and then my second question was like nigga who the how who the fuck know who the fuck know <laughs> like who the fuck know how the fuck do y'all know that them bitches is immortal who the fuck told y'all that and who's staring at the one that is and where the fuck is that motherfucker at so yeah nigga uh, apparently nigga je- jellyfish is immortal and um some of them bitches don't be dying nigga that shit is scary as fuck my nigga and if you don't really know what a jellyfish is that shit don't really chill you my nigga but if you really know what the fuck a jellyfish is my nigga my nigga that so you telling me that bitch don't die type shit
I just be think I be I, and that shit fucked me up. I saw that shit. I wrote that. I'm like, you gotta be fucking with that. But then I'm like, bitch, who the fuck know? Who know that? Th- All right, these is the five immortal jellyfishes. Bitch, who told y'all that? Who knew? How you know? And how old is that nigga? You know what I'm saying? Like that shit fucked me up. Like I know sea turtles live to be like a hundred and some years old. But nigga, you telling me that so this motherfucker and this bitch live? Kill them bitches. Kill all of them motherfuckers. Kill them bitches, man. I don't like. I don't like. I feel as a species and superior to them motherfuckers, and I feel as though them motherfuckers should die. Kill all jellyfish. Kill all <laughs> five for Smith. <laughs> Kill for Smith. <laughs> Kill for Smith and jellyfish. Kill him. But hell nah, bro. Them man, bro. Imagine, bro, a motherfucker, nigga. That's some shit off, all straight off saw, fo. A straight off motherfucking saw, bitch. Put your ass in a motherfucking gigantic fish tank and put a gigantic jellyfish in that bitch with your ass and lock your ass in there with a breathing tube, nigga. I die. I kill my star just and drown, bitch. No homo. Pause, nigga. That shit scary as hell. That shit fucked my head up, nigga. And I was like, these niggas really said, like, it really is. If you look this shit up, B, look this shit up, my nigga. Them bitches live to be immortal. Who saw the last one? Who seen the unliving, the undying jellyfish? Where is that bitch at? Kill it. Kill all jellyfish. Miss Smithin! Tay. Like, I was so not fucking prepared to do this pod, but, bro, um, Tito Jackson passed. Um, that shit is unbelievably sad. Um, I don't know what age. Okay, Google. How old did Tito Jackson live to be? On the website npr.org, they say, Tito Jackson, who alongside four of his brothers formed the beloved and hugely popular band, The Jackson Five has died at age 70. His sons, Taj, Terrell, and TJ, announced his death early Monday on the Instagram page belonging to their R&B band, 3T. To find out more, look for the link in your Google Home or Google Assistant app. So that shit crazy, bro. Like, I hate to, I hate to, that sounds so cliche to say that it, it seems as though he lived a full life. I hate saying that about everyone, um, but it says he lived to, to be 70 years old. I'm not sure how he died exactly, and I'm not gonna be a, a fucking weird pry and try to figure out how, but um, Tito Jackson died. Um, there was so many people that passed, and I'm gonna go down that list right now so I don't like wait anymore because I was super too. I forgot about that, and that's really fucked up. But um, Tito Jackson passed, um, and he died at the age of 70. Um, rest in peace rest in paradise um tito jackson and we send him prayers and wishes to his family this happened like a month ago so it's like really old but i'm talking to y'all about it now so i don't miss it but um yeah man r.i.p that man r.i.p you know when i think of the jackson five and when i think of like uh like when they performed uh dancing machine live like that's some of my like big that's like some of my first like childhood memories of like seeing them like do dance in the dance machine and seeing them hit it like and what seeing mike and his like the gold plated um knee pads and seeing everybody like just up there like you know brothers and just killing it like um i'm, I'm not gonna sit here and lie like he was my favorite i'm i'm, I'm I always say this bro like you never really know who these people are you don't really appreciate them until they're gone but um like it's sad to see like you know um people kind of play with him and play with his life and play with his name and it's funny but you know people kind of do that to like just get it out of the way it's just in case somebody really seriously don't like him and be playing and shit but i didn't really see too much of that like i didn't see anybody like playing with his name or like talking too much about all the allegations and the crazy stuff but r.i.p tito jackson man um i completely forgot that he passed even in that time but yeah man um 
rest in peace uh, a music legend um i can't even really tell y'all everything that he had his hands on in the music industry but i'm sure y'all know and um rest in peace that legend man for sure okay. Shit. okay um so i just wanted to like um talk about some other artists that passed um rebecca horn um one of like a very huge a very large and notable um exhibition artist and like uh one of like just a great all-around great female artist uh past um and i just wanted to mention her like um i feel like they're like in the entertainment industry pod world they never really kind of talk about people that pass that are a part of just the straight up art world um so rest in peace uh rebecca horn um i also want to talk about uh an african-american female artist um alicia henry um rest in peace to her as well she's another um black female artist that um i feel should just be somebody should shed light on their works and just their pat and in, in their past and their journey on their in their art life and somebody should always shed light on shed light on somebody that is great so um rest in peace alicia henry um rest in peace rebecca horn um and also rest in peace um enchanted one of the uh, um, uh music artists a young black female music music artist she passed and i forgot to mention her she passed earlier on in the year um and i never got to mention her. i really wanted to mention that um rest in peace to her and her family and all her music camp and everybody that you know had hands on her stuff and um and on her music um such a beautiful such a beautiful uh woman and um to see you know it's really tough to see like so many people pass and then like just to think of like everything that they would have like done had they you know but it's always important to recognize that their acts of it's always important to recognize their demonstration and their pieces of art and their music and their catalogs and their works of art and different things and to never just say that you know they live through these things they're never just gone and just they didn't people kind of tend to oh it could they could have been this they could have done that and this that and the third but they left things in place every great artist leaves things in place for when they're gone so um i think we should just take time if you truly appreciate these people and these well these are three women to if you truly appreciate these women go check out their works of art and um and just appreciate them for what they left here um i don't want to really talk about everybody that passed but um this is just like a, a few significant women um, and men that passed, uh, especially Tito Jackson, um, within the past two, three, four, five months, and um, that just was really notable to me. I know I'm leaving somebody out, and it's gonna be so embarrassing, but I'll probably patch it in after the edit. But um, yeah, man, it's been tough. It's it's been. I want to say that the past four or five months have been emotional, but it's more um, tension than anything. Like I'm starting to really learn the difference between emotional situations and like just tension filled, facilitated tension and tension filled situation. Like, you know, where we have like these, you know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's, it's people mistake tension for emotion sometimes you know um i even find myself with a lack of emotion and just kind of like an ang anger and a temper and just just like loss of like intention you know what i'm saying because of like such a large emotional tension bubble that's just like spirit balled over everybody's fucking head of like maintaining reputability and and righteousness you know what i'm saying um everybody's kind of living in their own pod in their fucking head like they don't want to go back on like what the fuck they thought like nobody's like nobody wants to be thought cringe you know what i'm saying and it's like 
it's weird as fuck. It's creating this like huge ass tension bubble between demographics of people and shit. Um, I wanted to say this real quick because I wrote this down in my quick notes. Um, and I think I'm gonna make this a bullet point. Um, deep fakes and and like um, hoax rumors are splitting up society. And this is a really, I really want y'all to fuck with me right here. Okay, so like really, really listen to me right here, yo. Um, I was having this like really deep discussion with one of the guys that I know he raps. He's, he's from the city or whatever. And I was talking to him about like, you know, this was after Donald Trump had, they had, they had attempted to assassinate him again. Um, immediately before I could even like really, before we even really began talking about it, he immediately was like, it's fake. It's a hoax. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, I didn't believe him because he didn't really tell me like, you know, where his point of view was on it. You know, we, eventually we ended, we, we stood there and just talked about it for like a fucking hour. But deep fakes and I'm not going to say fake news because that's not my, I'm not, I don't, that's not what the fuck I mean. Um, like deep fakes and like um and hoax rumors are splitting up society in ways that we can't that's like you know that are like irreversible and it's fucking up you know what i'm saying the world kind of because it's like there's a certain demo and this is i'm we, we're gonna talk we're gonna be here for a minute if i don't believe um this is November 24th. This is November 3rd, 24th. So you can't fuck me up. <laughs> if I believe that Donald Trump arranged for himself to be shot at, then that means that I would not, or that may mean that I would not want to vote for him these fucking rumors and this fucking like deep fake bullshit that go that's going on is literally like actually splitting up society like people aren't like like if you believe that taylor swift didn't kiss that boy then you're on the left side of fucking schmooty duty booty fan club and you're now that so you don't like people like this shit is really fucking happening like we're seeing this shit like it's like like if you don't fucking believe that Halle Berry titties was real first bitch you lame you don't know you're not a woman <laughs> you know what I'm saying it's, it's like shit like that and it's starting to become like fucking stupid you know what I'm saying it's making me not want to consume media at all because it's like oh well you all are list and then it's there's people that are pro like that are like against donald trump that believe that that shit was a hoax like as as people that's like okay f dude didn't really get shot they didn't believe none of that shit they believe none of it was real you know what i'm saying or it's like a it's like this is start or like the level of what really happened.com has not fucking slowed down and i like to think that what i say influences the fucking world but i'm gonna start fucking making t-shirts of i'm never gonna make the act i'm not claiming the website i'm not making that shit because i want motherfuckers to really realize what the fuck really going on like everybody believes that they're fucking what really happened.com like i don't even fucking believe that xclnt or whatever the fuck i do is what really happened.com uh, everybody thinks that they're what really happened.com and you're fucking not because it's not what really happened it's just what the fuck you believe um 2020, uh, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, outside, um, inside, outside, bitch, you're a fucking idiot. You don't even, you're not even educated. You don't really have a fucking opinion on anything that we, that anyone respects. Nobody gives a fuck if you're outside, bitch, you just believe what the fuck you hear first. And that's usually what the fuck. If you if you're outside, you believe whatever the fuck you hear first. 
somebody just telling you what the fuck you heard and you like hell yeah i'm getting it before everybody else this shit right bitch you a dummy like <laughs> like you a fucking dumbass like you fucking believe anything that a motherfucker tell you first because somebody else hasn't heard it so you know what i'm saying like outside kind of oversaturated type shit like you bitches are not out excuse me some of you hoes some of you motherfuckers not outside like some of you niggas dumb as hell like bitch you don't really know how to use a computer and shit dumb ass bitch you dumb you know what i'm saying like you outside and dumb as fuck type shit like how are you outside you know what i'm saying like who the fuck cares type shit you know what i'm saying and we got to get out of the mind frame of being like, you know, the first most controversial point of view or fact presented is the truth. As a peoples, we got to get out, out of that mind frame of like, okay, we're hearing it first and they don't know. So this is true. That's what the fuck being outside kind of is now. Like we just heard it first before motherfuckers know, oh, he too fragile to tell or they just don't they deny it and they don't want to know so they are not outside like bitch you're kind of still stupid you know what i'm saying like you just know something you just heard of uh, are you watched an article first and i said bro when i tell you like bro background music making you bitches believe anything background music make you hoes believe anything bro like we don't fucking believe this shit you know what i'm saying like I hate to say that shit because it's like so fucking cliche and lame, but it's like we don't believe everything that we fucking hear. You know what I'm saying? Um, some of you dumb motherfuckers, some of you dumbass motherfuckers really believe whatever the fuck y'all hear. You know what I'm saying? And it's not just like, you know, like everything ain't true. You know what I'm saying? Don't, I'm not a Mr. Question Everything. I don't question everything. For the most part, my nigga prove me that i don't question everything but i do ask for proof and that's how i stand with this shit because i see so many different motherfucking i hear motherfuckers talking shit about the motherfuckers that think that they know this shit they know everything and then y'all motherfuckers know everything so they know everything first if y'all saying this shit then they saying it backwards and y'all not saying nothing you just believe in what the fuck you hear first you're not outside, bitch. You just hearing what the fuck. You just listening hard as shit. You a goofy. Facts. This the XLNT podcast. If you want to have an excellent life, keep excellent company. You niggas can't get around me for real. Facts. I don't know who the fuck this is. You know what I'm saying? We don't even know like where did this shit just why do I have to know this now? And that's what really that's what I really been on with media, like for the past like two or three months like yo why the fuck do i need to know this why are y'all telling me this you know what i'm saying and they be like oh shit and they drop their shit and they go they keep pushing on motherfucker like who was they for him <laughs> facts um 2024 was the year for every motherfucker to go get their podcast and get to talking shit about who they don't like <laughs> I can't talk about who the fuck I don't like. They gonna come over here and beat my, beat the fuck out of me. <laughs> 2024 is the year for you to start your podcast and swear to God, motherfuckers saying you canceled. <laughs> I know motherfuckers getting canceled. Like, man, can I get canceled? Fuck. <laughs> this nigga trying to do everything to find his glitch on the trying found trying to find his viral glitch. Cut that shit out, man. Like for real. And we just like like as 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 consumers, as a as a black male consumer in his late twenties, for me I just feel like everything is so fucking malicious. And when we try to find like, you know, um we try to express ourselves through what we consume instead of like actually expressing ourselves and then creating something to consume. Not so much being like, okay, well, I feel like this sometimes. So this is, I'm just going to agree with whatever they say. We, we are definitely way like we got to be led better in like our consumption of what the fuck we use. You know what I'm saying? 
but I'm not even that fucking guy. Like I like I listen to everything, you know what I'm saying? For the most part, I try my best to like stay in the news and stay in the current media about what the fuck is going on. Like for me, I feel like some of this shit, we just I'm just not going to say I'm not going to sit here and waste my time talking about what the fuck going on with this motherfucker. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't even really give a fuck about um I don't give a fuck about dude. They talking about this dude heavy right now. I don't give a fuck about dude. I'm not finna talk about that shit. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker be like, oh, bitch ass nigga, you got a thousand views. Bitch, I get 30,000. You And that's what be funny as hell because when they tap into these fucking pods, they be like, oh, woo, 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 woo. Bitch, you know what I mean? Bitch, I'm not giving that. You think I give a fuck up? Bitch, I've been making this, sh- doing this shit since I was fucking, since 2011, bitch. I don't give a fuck about no fucking views. Everybody is here know what the fuck going on. Swag. Anyways, um, this the XCLNT podcast. Um, if you want to have an excellent life, keep excellent company. And that shit was so crucial this year. Like, every nigga that kept excellent company, they knew what the fuck was going on. They knew what they knew them hoes that just popped up when they started popping the bottles. Bitch, how you found your way here? You done known this bitch for five weeks now. Bitch, what's going on? Zoom. Told your ass. But we la- I'm laughing at this shit because it's like you really get to see like societal roles and people kind of like trying to learn what the fuck people been doing for hundreds of years before we was born. Or like 60, 70 years before we was born. Like somebody got to do this shit. You nigga, you third nigga, what the fuck you finna do? Somebody gotta do this. That nigga too old, he dead, he trying to teach you. He don't he not a good teacher. This nigga gotta do this. Like that's what the fuck going on in the world right now, and it's crazy. Um but we but you know what I'm saying, as as motherfuckers, we gonna you know what I'm saying, two feet, two shoulders and, and struggle through it, man. Like Um I've been I was fighting depression like crazy all of this like past month and the month before because it was so like my I had to wean myself away from just kind of using like all of these media pages and these trash media pages to like you know fulfill my you know my fucking itch for somebody else not living as good as me you know what I'm saying and that's some shit I had to really wean myself away from even though even though I'm ugly as fuck I had to really just look at myself like yo it's more to this immediate world around us and that we can that we can influence and change in the world as opposed to just consuming bullshit walking out and then projecting it on to everybody around us nobody everybody is just and it's some other it's it's it's, it's real like everything that we're like dealing with now people trying to you know project their feelings of the entire world onto one person and then say like yo you deserve to feel like this because of you fit the demographic of this. Like that's what's going on right now. You know what I'm saying? And people just, we trying to, we trying to see through it. We trying to get over it and fight through it and swim through it or jump over it or climb over it or whatever it is that any, every individual motherfucking battling with, like that's what the fuck going on in the world right now. Like we about to see the first female president. Um, um, Poll projections. Um, for me, I'm not nervous. I'm more, I'm more like anxious for it to be over and for the tension to die down, and for us to accept the first woman president and the inauguration and everything. And like, you know, is, is she gonna wear a dress? Is she gonna wear? A, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just cra- it's so much crazy shit that you can feel the world. Like, it's like you standing on the other side. These bitches get, oh, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know these hoes going crazy because it's like, bitch, we won, yay! Like, but they like, oh, fuck niggas. <laughs> like, like this shit weird, bro. Like, we trying to survive, bro. We trying to fuck these hoes and be okay. Bitch, come on now, we gay. <laughs> Let me catch that little motherfucker some, Jesus. But like I said, bro, it's like it's so much. It's so much tension because it's so much weighing on it. Like it's like this is like the first female president. This is the first. I don't want to say that. <laughs> this is like the first woman ever that's gone like 
she looking at her motherfucking points or some shit like it's like our friend it's like our first female president with a poke that we got to protect like hey stop looking at her ass like like this shit crazy like the first ever female president with a that, that's got to put on a lace front but she might not be because donald trump had kind of one did a, like a lace front kind of on some shit like that nigga kind of got a lace front on some shit so no can't say that but shit this the first the first president ever what did i say the first president ever that that need concealer (laughs) this the first ever president that's ever gonna have to motherfucking this the first president ever to wear secret deodorant you know what i'm saying like this shit real bro like and it's blowing my mind but i keep forgetting like you know she was the vice president like I don't know why I forget that, cause she was she did a great job. I mean, um, she made a lot of shit happen during then. I'm pr- I'm proud of my vote, man. Like, I can't necessarily say I was proud of like. I'm not gonna say that. I was proud to to vote for Joe Biden. I, I'm not gonna say I wasn't proud to vote for Joe Biden. I was proud to vote for Joe Biden. I actually, my grandfather, who is in his was in his eighties. <laughs> He's in his late eighties. I took him um, to me and him went and voted together to vote for Joe Biden um, during the during his election during that term. And um, for me, it was like you know it was just kind of liberal. I like I remember that experience too. I was like, wow, I'm I'm a I'm a generation of generation of generation away from and we were here together voting for um joe biden which was a great moment i remember that like um not like it was yesterday but i remember it so vividly and um to kind of see my uh grandparents kind of like not grandparents but to see my grandfather that i took to go vote with him actually kind of like get older in age and to see him like get older in age and not really necessarily have the mental wherewithal to kind of choose between two presidents and now to be you know um the youngest of my mother's children to go and vote it's crazy and it it definitely made me feel like you know like i patted myself on the back i went and got something to eat i was like yo like i'm literally a fucking human being and it's so crazy like um and you know just kind of just really like processing like yo we are not um we are not going to prom next year we're not like you know this isn't like some shit like the world is looking to us for our opinion on what the fuck we want to see in the world you know what i'm saying so it's not like we're like fucking children anymore like we have we all have our own political opinion but what is even more crazier to think about that even though i'm on a really far off tangent is like yo i really can remember adult grown adult ignorance not ignorance but you know un unawareness of political anything and this isn't just you know with youth because a lot of people be like oh my gosh youth are paying more attention to the to presidency than ever no motherfucker nigga old motherfuckers wasn't paying nigga every nobody the fuck was paying attention to politics g no the fuck body wasn't you can't tell nigga i was a when i'ma say excuse my language motherfucker i was a nigga i was in it was 2008 bro wasn't nobody fucking paying attention to this shit man (laughs) wasn't nobody paying attention to this shit um uh it wasn't even on they didn't have none of the debate the debate was still on tv i remember mccain nigga i remember all that shit like none of this motherfuckers was not just paying attention bro and it's crazy to see the world all pay attention to this shit at once. Like this shit is crazy. And it's like, it's so much pressure on us as a generation. And I think people know that generation of like pre-social media generation that we just, you know, I'm just on like the cusp of, cause I literally can remember Bebo. I can remember top five MySpace and Bebo, but I wasn't in high school, but I can remember like, you know, this tagged world or this like 
QWERTY world, like which is like totally di- you know what I'm saying? When motherfucker, when I motherfucker know what I'm talking about, I'm I'm like this this QWERTY this, this QWERTY or like this even fucking like Joe like 160 words per minute type in class, motherfucker. You can't type. You stupid. B- big chunky fat laptop ass moment of time that's just like gone forever and now we cyber truck motherfucking big ass cyber truck big ass shit and riding around the street fucking plug your car into the wi-fi dsl dr- food door dash into your motherfucking car pull up everybody know you do 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 boo boo class class of 2000 motherfucking 20 2024 Shit blowing my fucking mind, bro. Like, I'm fucking old, bro. I'm mad as fuck. Like, I'm not old, but nigga, this shit crazy. Like, I can only imagine, like, motherfucker be like, God damn, man, yeah. But, like, there's only two or three more le- days left before the election. Um, There's still that, like, crazy, teeter, and weird feeling of tension. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. Women have completely swallowed this. Like, no men. <laughs> and no, excuse my friend. I didn't even mean to say that. Um, this, there's no doubt in my mind that there will be an unbelievably in, un, uh, unconceivable uproar if this woman does not win. Like, I don't believe. Like, there's other projections and, like, draft and poll projections that's saying that the they're like the playing field is leveled out and that there's not really it's not a one-sided election or anything like that but part of me kind of believes that that's like a unison decision to perceive it as such you know what i'm saying like i feel like people would be in uproar if they really saw the actual numbers like like i mean and then again you know hey the actual numbers and people will fight about this like i i i'm wondering if if trump will battle the actual the facts of actual numbers um i just had a conversation with my mom and she's she's obviously for kamala and um and she says that uh she believes that donald trump is like you know just doing this for the sake of avoiding his crime i mean avoiding his like criminal accusations and stuff like that but personally, I think that he's just kind of like exempting the the ability, the capital. I don't like to say the capitalist ability, but he's kind of like exempting the fucking ability of someone within one man's ability. If 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 you know what I'm saying, I feel like that's exactly what he's doing. Kind of like showing y'all like, hey, anything is fucking possible. Fuck the world. If y'all are gonna stop me, stop me, bitch. Love you. Bye. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that's what Donald Trump doing. Like, and I fuck. I mean, I'm not gonna say I fuck with it because they don't want me to like Donald Trump, <laughs> and I don't like Donald Trump. I'm not just saying what the fuck ever anybody want me to say, but that's how I feel about this shit. Like, black people should support support black people in this time of, in this time, in this time. Yes, is it racism? Is it a racial bias? How long will the world be until a motherfucker, a black motherfucker supporting a black motherfucker is racist? Is it racial bias? No, I don't believe so. I'm voting for her because she a fucking woman. That's why I'm voting for her. Excuse my language. I'm voting for her because she a woman. And in 2024, after seeing what just happened for the past four years and not allowing a woman to have a chance to be a president after Hillary Clinton failed... I'm not going to say she failed, but after Hillary Clinton was deemed un unfit to be president, I think I think it's time that we let women run the country or preside or have a position of have a presidential position over the country. Um do I think that a woman should be the American sniper? Do I think that we should make all these women go to war and try to kill these motherfuckers? No, <laughs> we know who the fuck run. We know who the fuck really run the world. Um, I'm not going to, I'm going to say that. And I'm a, I'm a fucking, I'm a brace for impact because we know who the fuck really run the world, but y'all in charge. That's what I think. 
I think women should just be in charge, man. Let God damn it. Give her the shit. Shut the fuck up. Jesus. Shut the fuck up. But not shut the fuck up though. Cause I love you. But that's how I feel, man. And um Do I want do I I'm gonna be honest. This is my honest opinion. After voting, do I believe that Kamala Harris should have eight years do that double double back and have those two terms back to back that is what i'm worried about i'm worried about kamala harris battling for her second term with uh someone that we don't want to see as president do i think donald i'm gonna pre- i'm gonna predict that donald trump doesn't run again in two th- in, in the next when the, during the next elect electoral um in the next election i i think that donald trump this will be the last time that Donald Trump runs for president, which is for some people a sad thing. Um, I'm from the city of Chicago. Obviously, Chicago is one of, the, even though it's considered to be a blue state, you would be surprised to see how many people love Donald Trump here. Like, um, Trump Towers, um, everything, all of the different communities that Donald Trump has in, enriched and put millions of dollars into in the city of chicago um i personally i'm not gonna say that donald trump is i don't feel like donald trump should be the fucking president do something the fuck else and this is between this is between me and you and all the x all the xlnt gang right um i'm not trying to influence your vote um i just want you to go do it just go vote for yourself like bro you fucking signed up for the gym. You know how fucking long it takes to sign up for LA Fitness, nigga? You signed up for the gym. You fucking returned them fucking DVDs that one time, nigga. Nigga, you fucking... You got your... You renewed your license and shit. Bitch, go vote, nigga. Just do it. Just fucking go vote, bro. It don't even fucking take that long. Just go do it, bro. It takes like fucking 30 minutes, bro. And it's a and it's a way to leave your name... You you are leaving your name in the... In, in, if you if you had the right, even if it meant fucking nothing, you're putting your name in, into the system for your family and for your people and for your uh, offspring and for your ancestors that didn't have the right to vote when they died. Speaking to my nigga personally and speaking to my wigga. Go and take your white ass up there and vote for, for whoever the fuck you want to, bro. It's your right. But, man, I really I was happy to see, man, I went to go vote at... um. At the Lincoln, I ended up choosing the Lincoln Park branch to um to cast my vote at in Chicago. Um, uh, in the Lincoln Park area, it's the Lincoln Park Public Library. Um, they were super hospitable, great vibe. It wasn't too many people in there. They just walked us all in and and showed us how to do everything, and then they just you know walked us through it. And was it wasn't any like crazy propaganda towards any other way. It was it was a bunch. Now, I'm going to tell you what happened when I went in there. Out of the 60 people, 60, 70 people that were in this in the building circulating, about 80% of these people that were in here were women. Um, most of them, I mean, I, I voted at Lincoln Park. Most of them were white women. Most of them were white women um, in their, I'm not going to say in their 30s because there were younger white women too um, and they were older, but it was a lot of, I saw a lot of older white women and I saw, um, you know, a sprinkled in a few um, younger women in their 20s and it's right next to the DePaul, it's right next to DePaul, so it was some other, stu- like, some studious looking women that were like, you know, younger. And then I saw, I saw one other black guy. So I was like, yo, you know what I'm saying? When I seen him in there, I'm like, he was like real quick. I saw one other black guy. And then as I was leaving that whole like hour and 30 minutes that I was in there coming in and in the line, I saw, as I exited, I saw one other black guy. So it was 2024. I wasn't disappointed to see that because I mean, you never know who all shows up. You never know. But um it was crazy to see like man like and then like kind of see the point of views of these people. They was like 
Mm. You know what I'm saying? When they seen me, because I didn't have on like no suit or nothing. I put on, I literally put on like a, um, I put on like a blazer jacket to kind of like, you know, just sig- signify like black men, how many black men just have not or have been denied the the right to fucking do this shit. Um, I came in there like in my mind, it probably didn't look as cool as I fucking thought, but <laughs> I felt like fucking like fucking Martin Luther King Jr. or some shit. Like I was like, yeah, like, you know, it was so many people that was like, you know, black dudes like me that didn't even think they were like either in jail or like and that's what I really wanted to represent like you know black men that are incarcerated black men that are taking care of their kids today and literally cannot fucking do this shit or black men that you know are just not aware of even what the fuck is going on like they know about Donald Trump and they know about some lady named Kamala that's going against them you know what I'm saying? And I just wanted to represent that demographic of people that's like, you know, neglected and kind of like, you know, I don't want to speak. I don't I don't want to say this elitism because that's not really what that is. But I, I wore the, the blazer in to exempt not exemplify, but to symbolize like, you know, um, political awareness within black men. So I wore that. And then, you know, I just wore some jeans and just wore the jacket like, yo, like people was kind of looking at me like and I, that's really what I wanted you know that's the reaction that I wanted was like you know people was like like wow like you know fuck nobody they we nobody gives a fuck and it was like damn you know what I'm saying it was the first day of, of voting so it was the turnout was cool like it was definitely more that I saw I saw more people voting there than like many of the other places um Brighton Park Library not Brighton Park but um um, there's a few other library branches that I saw that I like rolled by and have seen. And I was like, wow, okay, they got a long line, but that was it was a huge turnout and um, it was just exciting to kind of see like the reactions of like you know, sixty year old and like s- people in their late sixties and like just kind of seeing this young black man by himself on his own will coming in to vote. You know what I'm saying? I saw um. I, I think I saw two or three other black women there, which was really I was su- I was like, go on here, mama, do your do your thing, mama, and I saw you know older older black women, which was really like wow, auntie, go on, wow, gr- wow, mama, go on here, because it was like you know it was really some of them people was in there like emotional because it was like yo like, shorty, you don't even understand, you know what I'm saying, and it was like, they didn't know that I do. You know what I'm saying? Like, my mom kind of is super, super like, yo, have some sort of a political, don't not know what's going on. And um, after voting with my grandparents and like really going through that, especially during Biden's election year and kind of seeing like the importance of like, yo, really witnessing McCain lose and really witnessing like, you know, watching, um, watching Barack Obama be and become who he was and watching his like the story of like you know and then like still kind of seeing like you know some of the homies just be like man fuck fuck voting voting ain't real they don't even rip that shit don't matter shorty this shit matters it fucking matters bro because we're not fucking here like you you're here you do this you do everything the fuck else but you won't say like okay we give a fuck what the fuck going on over here. You just won't do it because 9-11 wasn't real. Like, what the fuck do y'all, what the fuck is your, even your reason still, bro? Sometimes I be saying that shit, but I'm going off on a, on a rant. But, man, um, voting this year was like, it was like a very, that was emotional. To see, like, you know, the reaction of, like, kind of like these older white people kind of like, wow, like. And I didn't want them to feel guilty about it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, bitch, you didn't whip me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you didn't you ain't make no money off that cotton lady. I ain't fucking mad at you. But it was like to see them like, you know, like, wow, like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, them niggas don't give a fuck. <laughs> it was it was it wasn't funny at all. It wasn't funny, but it was like I was like, damn, like. Motherfuckers really don't care. You know what I'm saying? But to a certain extent, they do. Um, 
and I just hope to see, you know what I'm saying? I just hope to see like a bunch of muff like niggas going like, all right, yeah, nigga, we just roll, we just smoke three woods, bitch. <laughs> we smoke three, we in this bitch reeking, and we finna vote, bitch. <laughs> like I cannot wait to see it because I know that's what the world moving towards. That's what the fuck I'm doing this for. That's what the fuck everybody doing. Like we really finna be having, like we finna be at the club. Woo -doo 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 -doo. After this, everybody, but before everybody meet up at 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 eleven thirty, we finna pull up to this bitch in all black leather, smoke the fuck out, and then we finna come in this bitch. We voting, y'all can't stop us. I want niggas to be like crazy, like mad. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, <laughs> you know. But it was, it, I mean, I wasn't disappointed, but it was, it really kind of, like I was so like yo 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 politics poli like. And then to kind of see, like, I guess it was just that moment of, like, me not seeing a bunch of other black guys, which was like, ah. But I was like, I understood that because, you know, um, it is what it is. You know, for some people, voting is like, they look at it like jury duty or, like, fucking, like, you got to renew your license or some shit. Like, bro, it's not even that fucking deep. They're not going to arrest you, bro. <laughs> like niggas was like, hell no, nah, man, I got a warrant. <laughs> like niggas was like, bro, I'm not, I'm not voting, man. I got a whole warrant, man. Bro, that's not what the fuck that is. But that shit was crazy, bro. And like the um, so there's like two, or, I guess there's like two or three days left, um, to still cast your vote. So, and I'm sure it's a lot of people right now that feel like they see the poll projections, so they're like, fuck it, we don't have to vote. But I see a lot of like new, like newlywed couples and like um younger people that play the like it was it was and I'm gonna tell you guys about this too. Um I met this guy and he was like it was weird to see because I just went to the I went to the beach to just go chill out and smoke and shit and um before it got cold and i talked to this guy i'm like yo who do you support for you know presidency and he was like yeah um donald trump and it was so weird because i was like oh, okay but after he like kind of told me like how he came up and how he like grew up and shit i'm like yo like everybody comes from like their separate upbringings of why they believe you know and why they feel as though certain people should be in charge and it's like as citizens in this society um whether you respect what the fuck the uh, united states of america is it's like this is our societal role and purpose if anything like if you don't fucking shoot fucking people or fucking go overseas and kill motherfucking assailants and shit like that or whatever the fuck you are your purpose in society is is not only to just to vote, but like to pick up garbage or whatever the fuck, you know what I'm saying? So talk to, so talking to this guy from another, a totally different side of the city or whatever, and he talks about like, yo, yeah, I like Donald Trump. And then this, it's like, dude, she, she's done nothing for it, you know? And it was to hear some of the stuff that he said, like, I'm not going to say verbatim what he said, cause that's not what the fuck he said, but he said so many different things. And I was like, he felt so strongly about it that I, you know, I really couldn't argue with this guy. Like I didn't hate him. We, I, sm I smoked the fucking blunt with him and we stayed there. And I was like, yo, this guy feel this way. And he's not fucking wrong. On another note, under the same fucking topic, some of you goofy ass niggas that support Donald Trump, you bitch ass niggas make Donald Trump look bad. Stop fucking supporting people publicly because bitch, you're a fucking weirdo. <laughs> I need to get that shit out of the way for every motherfucker that just it, everybody knows that one Trump supporter that's like bro nigga fuck you <laughs> like Donald Trump like nigga no fuck you <laughs> like, I know I'm not tweaking bro like on God like nigga you just like Donald Trump because nigga don't nobody like you nigga I said that shit and I was like bro but not that guy though not that guy and that's when i really started like that's when i was like hell yeah i put it on my calendar i'm like bro i'm taking voting this year serious i'm gonna make a video and everything because um it'll be four years until we can do it again you know what i'm saying and then people be like yeah like oh okay blah 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 another president but bro every it's only every four years you know what i'm saying 
what the f- something could happen to you within five years. Something something could happen to you within three years. You know what I'm saying? Why not leave? You know why not leave your mark towards something that's going to push society in a certain direction that you favor. Um, but like I said, I know people. I'm very close to people that don't even believe in voting or the act of voting or whatever. You know, some people believe that it's like um, like I know some people that are really like strong in like faith that believe that like political elections are like a you know, praise of like a false god or like to be praising to be like you know worshiping a, um an idol of like admiration and like i know people that are like that and i just view society different like for me i feel like what voting has become to be is truly what people understand the census to have been like what people understand what the census like for what people have well let me, I don't, let me say this right what people knew the census to be i believe that that is what voting is now like people think that no one knows who they voted for and that's just not true you know what i'm saying um your name is a part of like governmental record forever until this country fucking goes away and some people view that as like unimportant or trivial or like it shouldn't be done or like that i i don't i you know i can never really find too many i can never like get comfortable with the reasoning of why the fuck not to vote after there's been generations to i'm not even gonna speak specifically but there's been several generations of African American or black people that have been kept and put obstacles between them voting. Um so yeah, I'm gonna always fucking do that. Um I'm a fucking smoke a fat ass blunt. Um I'm a fucking eat some chicken. I'm a fucking eat some watermelon and I'm gonna go fucking vote. And then I'm gonna go fucking act niggardly as hell at this fucking poll election. I'm the only nigga in this month. All right, yeah, we turn. Ah, go crazy. Yeah. And I'm voting every time. Like a motherfucking whipping crop. I'm going to start showing up to the election with a whipping crop. Like, yo, whipping y'all ass every time. Put my shit in this bitch. If y'all not going to put my name on this motherfucker, I know. You know what I'm saying? That's how I really vote, bro. Like, our name in this bitch. Ooh, buku. Every time. If y'all really know who I am, bro, y'all know my family side, y'all know my mama side, my daddy side, I vote for both of their ass. I vote for, I, I represent both of my family. So, um, if you, like, in your late 20s, like, for me, I feel like every man in his late 20s should be, you should always want to vote and, like, represent what your family would come up in. But, like this, I was finna go, I was, I was finna say this earlier. Um, I can see, like, women... I can see like these newlywed couples like not even just newlywed couples but these couples like getting together and being like yo like we I don't think we fucking agree and it's so crazy to see like this one like oh so you're not so we're not voting Harris I'm confused <laughs> like <laughs> this shit is it's like tension like it's mad tension because like yo like babe no <laughs> and I was like like every like I'm not gonna lie like it's weird to see it's entertaining but it's also very toxic and i find that like you know me i'm gonna love everything that come through you know what i'm saying i'm gonna see everything but for me like that sh- it really it shook my shondo and it shook my like entire like being to see this shit like play out like first of all i'm see- we're seeing something that no one else has ever fucking seen I love that shit. I die for that shit. This is a fucking woman right here, bro. Not only is she a woman, but she's a black woman. So it's like, no. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like who's no? And it's a big thing. Like, like it will, like it's gonna, it may, it may go on and live in infamy and disappear and dissipate over time. But I'm gonna remember what the fuck. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm gonna remember what the fuck happened right here. Like, yo shit got wiggy especially in the city especially dt especially i can only imagine what the fuck going on in new york i can only imagine how the fuck they playing with these motherfuckers in new york 
because this shit treacherous here. I'll be like, ah, like I'll be having a zone out and be like, all right, bitch, I'm me for after all this. Before them, I'll be, I'll be, <laughs> you feel me? Like I'll be having to get back to me like my nigga after all this shit. Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? But still on God, because it was like, so we together for, so this us, what the fuck you mean you don't agree with this with a woman for the next four years? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then it's like, Shorty, is you racist? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want to be on the end of none of this shit, fo. Let that lady win. <laughs> let that lady win, man. And not even, not so much let that lady win, but make sure that auntie win, man. Make sure that this woman win, bro, because you do not want to be the guy that was four years ago well i just don't think that she has the bro you don't even have no <laughs> you really don't have no backing for this shit bro you don't want to be the nigga that's told half not even half the society two-thirds of the society no let's be real because we're talking about numbers here that we that they really won't even let us know like for me bro that's what i was saying but like it's it's weird to see it's crazy to see like even like with my experience going in there voting i'm i i I try not to do it too much because i know the 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 power influence that i have and it was so emo it was so like closed mouth emotional in there but it was like yo like i'm kind of like lightweight looking around because i knew that i know what i i know when i peep motherfuckers motherfuckers get to peep at me and i be like ah i don't want to change you lady but I, you kind of look around, you see, like, she kind of don't want to look at me. I'm like, ooh. And it got real in there, y'all. I'm telling you. Because it was like, mm, okay. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't, I'm not going to ask you why. I don't think that you should. I'm not telling you nothing. If that's what you and your husband decided, if that's what you want, you don't want to look at me. I ain't even trying to look at you. Ain't nobody on your head. Nobody don't play with you, uh, Grandma. But that shit's so real, boy. And then we, you know what I'm saying? They, I mean, I ain't gonna talk too bad. Muff, I done told y'all the branch I went to, but I ain't gonna talk bad. I mean, everybody from that. I ain't necessarily. You don't necessarily have to be from that community. That's how Chicago works. You don't necessarily have to be residentially or. or be from that community to vote at any branch. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers probably come from another part of town, whatever. But going up in there, seeing them motherfuckers dodging them looks and still going to that poll, man, that shit go crazy, shorty. It go crazy. And that's why, as with my platform, I'm gonna always be, next year I might go in that motherfucker with a dashiki on smelling like straight gas. That's what the fuck I wanna do next year, man. For real. Like, I was on that. Like, that's what I was kind of on this year. But I was like, no, nah, that's not even what I'm on. But then, but next year, that's fuck around be what I be on. Like, y'all know who the fuck I'm here for. And it was just weird to see motherfuckers in that bitch trying to be quiet. Boom, for Trump. Like, bitch, you the only one in that motherfucker acting weird. Like, and that shit was crazy, bro. That shit was crazy. Like, it was a time, bro. Like, who the fuck know? Who is no? And that's what's crazy. But for real, it was like, mm. and then you try to fight with the logic in your head. Why they saying no? Mm-mm, let me get up out of business. But yeah, man. Um, this year, man, October twenty first, I went and I went in and voted, and it was such an experience, dude. Being twenty seven years old, and being in my late twenties, and seeing how the world just changing around us, and um. And younger people taking on roles of older people and shit like that. Like, it was crazy to see, man. It was a time, bro. And um, and everybody, I think everybody was just, you know, like I said, like this is, I I, I want to say it's the zenith or like the peak of like what the fuck everybody like to, um, watching the political debate between the two candidates and watching and seeing live two million people. 2.1 2.2 million people 3 million people looking dead at boom dead, dead right <laughs> you know what I'm saying like that shit it's weird bro and it's the time that we living in like 
man, two million motherfuckers, two point two million motherfuckers standing right there looking at these motherfuckers. We don't look, and I man, I I really do believe. I keep saying motherfucker be like, ah, oh, Jay don't think like that. But I swear to God, man, could nobody have did this shit but Donald Trump. I'ma keep saying that shit. Couldn't nobody have law couldn't nobody have took this ill but Donald Trump. Because nigga, if it was somebody else, motherfucker would have blew up in motherfucking flames. All facts. Trying to tell you, G. And it's like to see two point two million people on on it at one on one URL or on one motherfucking page and they we all just mm, You know what I'm saying? We all what the fuck you finna say, G? Say your bitch ass. <laughs> like, like, it's crazy. Like, and it's like, 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 when you look at it, you be like, God damn, why don't we all just vote right now? You know what I'm saying? And I, that's why I was thinking, like, when I was watching it, I'm like, I'm watching the presidential debate. And I'm watching, like, 2.2 million people in this motherfucker. Why the fuck is voting not, like, and I think that's what we gonna see within, like, they gonna change this shit. Like within the next three terms, within the next 12 years, within the next 12, 16 years, they're going to change this shit again. They're going to change that shit. Like they're going to be like, yeah, well, now you can come scan your fingerprint outside. We all right here, here, here. We ain't at libraries. We everywhere. And we standing waiting for y'all to vote. What the fuck? And then they're going to come do it. It's going to be at McDonald's. It's going to be at every motherfucking goddamn thing. It's going to be at everything instead of. Just like how you could load your card or whatever, that shit gonna be boo doo 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 doo. You know what? I'm choosing to vote for her. Boom boom boom, and they gonna make that shit easy. You know what I'm saying? And then the world truly gonna be in unison about what the fuck or who the fuck they want. It's not gonna be no illusion on who don't want to be president and who just pulling bullshit over our eyes. I'm not saying that any one of these candidates are. Um, do I believe that Donald Trump got shot in the ear? Yes, I do not agree with my homie. Um, do I believe that Donald Trump, that people want Donald Trump dead? Yes, I do not not believe that. I do believe that motherfucker, motherfucker want to shoot that motherfucker. I do believe that, and I pray that that man stay safe. I do not wish that on that man, and y'all know that. Um, and motherfuckers be like looking at me crazy. I believe Donald Trump got more power outside of presidency than he does within it because he will always make everybody question who's in like people don't understand that shit like I don't like either way it's not a loss for him and that's how we thinking over here this is the XLNT podcast you motherfuckers don't say you bogus it is what it is that's how we thinking like bro that nigga don't need a fucking he don't need that shit he don't But man, it was funny to see when I tell you, man, you 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 like you stand in line, you lock eyes with a motherfucker, don't fuck with you type shit. You be like, all right, <laughs> and my mother started laughing all our boys, man, your bitch ass ain't real, but man, I'ma want to say some shit like, man, boy, your ass racist. But nah, this shit was it was cool, man. It was a good vibe, man. Um, I don't want, I don't like people that go to the to, they go to vote to shame white people. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like it's some black people that be going to shame motherfucking. <laughs> you just going to shame white people and shit. You don't even really care type shit. But I ain't gonna lie, I did get my. I had my little fun guilt tripping their ass on God, but I wasn't guilt. I didn't mean to do that shit. I swear to God. But I wore my blazer, man. I was like, yo, like, I represent my family. You know what I'm saying? And um, some people believe that it's like bullshit to even vote, like religiously like they have like religious views it's like yo why the fuck would you vote man this system system is made against us my black brother <laughs> i'll be like nigga get your dumb ass on your ungoverned ass the fuck on then make your motherfucking country on the side of the country then you fucking weirdo prick fuck off you know what i'm saying now nah, i don't hate niggas like that but i just be so like why is you irritated with me going to do some shit and you don't even do shit you don't do nothing bro like it's always the nigga that's like, man, I don't believe in voting, bitch ass nigga. You never know when it is. <laughs> like, stop lying, bro. Like, stop lying, bro. Oh God. And as a twenty-seven year old man, 
I realized that I voted and participated in the ele- presidential election more than some of these grown ass motherfucking 50, 60 year old ass niggas. Like, I'm gonna be like, bro, like you never gonna represent your family in the sen- uh, in the in the paperwork of the world, folks. You don't feel like you your name need to be nowhere in the paper. You done feel you done filled out for three motherfucking cars that you totaled, nigga. You done you, you done went and sold the title on these sixteen cars. Your paper, your name, and every other fucking company paperwork in the fucking world. But you don't feel like you should put your name in this paperwork because the devil or the the Illuminati, nigga. You a fucking dummy. This should be funny as hell, bro. You would be like like nigga. I'm from the hood, bro. If people say anything like. They be like, nigga, um, I don't believe in voting, man, because, man, Ronald Reagan. I'm like, nigga, your ass old. You still don't believe in Why the fuck wouldn't you? But this dumb ass don't know how to work a phone, so I ain't even mad. But that shit crazy. I ain't even going to spend the whole episode talking about fucking voting, but um, I feel like that's just what, like, so much of the tension was going. Like, that's why it was so much tension, like, in the world. You know, I stay, like, smack. And, like, like when I say I live in a city... Like I've always lived in the city of Chicago in the Chicago area, but I I recently moved like smack in the middle of the fucking city, so it's like you just hear people just riding through the streets like fuck Trump and and you see motherfuckers riding around with flags and like you just see like this tension is like and these women are just like. <laughs> like, 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 I, oh, I can't wait to vote. I'm just, I'm every woman, and for women, and I'm an abortion, and I'm, 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 like, and they fucking buzz, them fucking ran her rose into the fucking ground. <laughs> I'm fucking on bumper crazy. I'm trying not to be hood, bro. But I'm fucking laughing because these bitches is so fucking... They, these bitches got to stick so far up their ass in so many different ways. Like, this shit real, bro. Like, and it's not... I, I want to say it's about the election, but these women got so many different sticks up their ass from different things, and them, they don't like this shit, and these whole, these whole playing with these hoes, and they don't like them hoes over there, so them hoes not valid, and they not real women. This shit don't got shit to do with Kamala. We like, what the fuck? How long? <laughs> Niggas like, boom, oh, <laughs> like, we trying to catch y'all. Like, I love you. Boom. <laughs> y'all beating the shit out of us. What the fuck going on? We don't like them. Y'all like them? No, I don't like them hoes. I love you right now. Love you. <laughs> like, niggas is just getting their head beat off by month. Hey, yo, pause. Niggas just getting their head fucking beat the fuck off by, by fucking angry crowds of angry mobbing women. Like, literally. And we gotta, like, like, like and on a serious note, on a serious note, like, for real, this shit's scary. Like, I'm fucking scared. I'm gold boy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I ain't fucking bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit. Like, leave me the fuck alone, bro. Leave me alone. I don't, I, all of my air, I don't treat A. Free, uh, free Palestine, woo doo doo. <laughs> don't nobody hate me. Everybody love me. I be on point with this shit, bro. Don't nobody not, don't nobody hate me. I be on me shit, folks. I don't, I don't fuck with none of them motherfuckers, man. I don't know them niggas. Them niggas ain't on my side. I'm not on them niggas' side. They not right. You know what I'm saying? They, they not right. But hell nah, man, that shit crazy. Oh God. Um, but yeah, man, we just we just watched like uh I believe we just watched what was the first election period and voting period of the first female president to um ever be. Um and also the first black female president to ever be. So that's like two birds with one stone. Ew, I don't want I didn't want to say that. But um yeah, man, it's crazy. And um and we living in the city of Chicago, you know. Um I really think women stepped hard for as for the most part, women stepped hard for her. But like I said, I don't really know. And I hate to say that like, oh, it seemed like it was white women in there, so they probably voted for Trump. That sounds stupid as fuck. I'm not finna say that. But shit you never really know and personally i think from my point this is just me like being like 
You know what I'm saying? But for me, I really do think like white old white women fucking hate Donald Trump. <laughs> and even though her husband voted for that motherfucker, she still voted Kamala Harris just over just to be over his motherfucking head. On God, I believe that's what the fuck happened. Um Uh, 2012 MacBook Pro, MacBook Pro, MacBook Pro. Um, y'all already know what the fuck going on. This is the XCLNT podcast. Um, if you want to have an excellent life, keep excellent company. It's your girlfriend, boyfriend. Don't trip. I'm you. It's your girlfriend, boyfriend. Um, I'm trying to think what the fuck else we was talking about. Like, um. I don't want to be toxic. I really want I'm trying to be I'm trying to be so cool. Like I don't I don't want to I don't want to bring no more toxic energy to this podcast that's already here. But it was when I tell you, bro, them people went up about even seeing like the little like um Kamala posters, um seeing the Donald Trump ads, seeing him like get that big ass truck, rap that motherfucker, seeing Donald Trump like with these like digital ads on the things like even like like in like the new age of technology bro like i don't even think like like digital advertisements on streets is even like kind of changed too like you got to think like these are real-time billboards that can be changed at any moment of the day <clears throat> so you got these like advertisements on these digital ads like it's not even like 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 for me to be like okay i'm not watching tv because i don't want to see any political ads you can't really even do that anymore because when you walk outside, you're going to see a, a television with a, with a political ad on it. So, you know, we definitely living in different times. And um, I think it's definitely influenced the election. And um, like I said, man, I, I mean, even though it's like lame or like motherfucker might be like, oh, you just voting because you just want everybody to be happy. And you only voted for her because everybody told you to or you're just voting with the masses. Like, bro, like it's a lot of reasons why I could have voted for Donald Trump, but the main reason why I didn't want to vote for Donald Trump is because of the level of controversy that this, that, that him alone comes with. Like motherfuckers can facilitate for him to be controversial, but every, every, every waking moment for him to make a statement or him to like, if he, if he has a, a, a point of view on something, it's not right. And then everybody is in an uproar. At some point in time, the presidency has to not at some point in time, but I feel like the perfect president or because there is not one. But the person that's going to preside over the country shouldn't have people up in arms in every state and in, in every fucking city and, and martial under martial law every fucking six months. Like we don't want to see this anymore. And after seeing what happened with the insurrection, even though he can't necessarily be held responsible I don't want to see nothing like that ever again. Like, I don't want to see, I don't want my children, or, well, my child, I don't want my son to see, even though he probably already has, I don't want him to see the White House as just some not respected piece of land that people just, you know, parade across. And like, I don't ever want to see another insurrection. I don't want to see that again. And that's was that was the reason kind of why I chose Kamala over him. And I favored Joe Biden and I favored Barack Obama. So I felt like she was the best fit for us to be like, you know, to continue on the journey of bettering the country in these in, in days that are new. Everything is new and everything is always changing every day. So I feel like as a people, we can't just keep denying that. Like, yo, we got to figure out what we want for the world and we got to keep moving forward. Like, we can't just everything ain't just a fucking battle like when are we in control of us and i feel like her continuing her vice presidency into being the the president is the right move for us especially within the next four years which a lot of women gonna be like oh he just said the next four years this nigga a, a straight hoe but that's how i feel like you know it very much so for the next four years and like i said the, depending on how the things go like maybe eight years you know um she's very young she's very uh vibrant and i feel like she exudes like um i don't know if i'm using the right word 
I feel like she kind of like um she kind of like emits what women want to see for the country. And in 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 exception of a very small demographic of I, I hate Kamala and she thinks he's shocked with that. <laughs> like, bitch, we don't like that. Ain't, ain't, I, don't, I, don't, I was trying to say it again. <laughs> well, then if he, uh, who the, which one of these motherfucking women, unless she just trying to get pick up attention at the bar, which one of these motherfucking women don't like Kamala? Ah, wait, get and then give her the mic. She don't want to give her the mic. Give her the motherfucking mic. She don't want to take it. So let's just keep it a hundred buck bean. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I said when I made my decision. When I was in the, I was brushing my teeth, woke up. I'm like, man, shit. Put her in there. You know what I'm saying? And um, that's just how I felt. But we ain't going to talk this whole episode about the fucking election. But it was super important, man. And I feel like that's what like was just kind of like keeping everybody just so up in arms and like you know kind of feeling like uh the world was like in trouble it was a bunch of like i mean especially in the city specifically a lot of like crazy violent acts um i want to talk about really quick i'm not going to talk about it long because i don't know a lot about it um apparently somebody was um murdered in involvement with Lil Durk and you know he's like one of the biggest Chicago uh, artists one of the biggest Chicago trap drill artists um from the city um not long ago somebody apparently he's being like held in uh about a murder for hire case and I hate to even say that because it might change and that makes everything sound so serious I don't like speaking too much on shit that I don't know what's going on for real but um it's so many crazy so much crazy shit that's going on um that of course i like especially within september and like the month before that like october september i've just kind of like completely tapped out from like getting these news alerts because it was stressing me out and i'm going through a lot with my family and my people as well so i was just like yo i can't keep just you know over consuming all these bad articles but um yeah man it was just you know it's weird to see like um how like the media is kind of like shopping these people in front of influencers like me and bigger influencers like yo do y'all even care about this motherfucker because we he's dead and it's and it's disheartening as fuck you know what i'm saying um i always promised to myself that i would never you know go so far up that somebody could play with me like that you know what i'm saying like um but man it's it's hard to see you know what i'm saying and it's like i don't really know i don't really know how to speak on it because obviously i'm not gonna, i'm not i'm not talking about uh dirk in this specific situation but to kind of see how like these articles are like picked up processed chewed up and then spit out and then like that's that dude's real life and they trying him like that you know what i'm saying this is a this is some current that's going on so i'm not gonna like i said i wasn't gonna talk too much about it but it's some wild shit you know what i'm saying um and obviously like like i said y'all know how much i hate leaving cringe opinions so i'm just gonna say that y'all i'm just gonna say that we all go the xclnt gang we gonna pray for whatever goes on and everybody involved and hopefully that it don't go bad even though it already has and we just gonna pray that it doesn't get any worse and we just gonna pray for that you know what i'm saying um over here at the xclnt podcast we do believe in prayer and uh verbal manifestation we do believe in it so um we just gonna pray that that like you know turns over a new leaf and turns into something that we all learn from as opposed to something that we just you know breed you know what i'm saying create hatred from you know what i'm saying we don't we don't we don't want that for that man and um and i just hope it changes you know um i try to speak differently about this type of shit because everybody's just saying the same thing like oh shit like god damn fuck he murder for hire murder for hire murder for hire murder for hire murder for hire, murder for hire. i don't want to hear that shit no more you know what i'm saying i just wanted to just you know 
that that be the case sometimes. Sometimes these motherfuckers be getting tried before they get tried, and then when they by the time they get to the trial, I mean, I'm, and that's me speaking in favor of it. So I'm gonna end it right there. But you know what I'm saying? We gotta stop trying these people in social media first, and then when they get to court, be like, oh yeah, it was a fair trial. We know what the fuck is not. But again, like I said, I'm not gonna speak too much on that because that's already too much. But um, yeah, man, uh, I had some other shit I was gonna talk about. I forgot. Okay, um, but anyways, man, like, um, I hate to see any black artist, and this man right here, Dirk, I consider him to be like a black artist, you know what I'm saying, um, you know what I'm saying, he's not like a painter or anything, but I just consider him to be an artist, I hate to see black artists, um, put in these, like, un undefeatable points of, like, controversy and just you know um just kind of like the media kind of depicting them with like you know uh bad angles and just just trying to f convey disdain for them through media articles and just you know this background music kind of coverage of like this back this negative background music kind of coverage on black artists is what makes me paranoid I I cover like when I tell you I'm independent. Um, I hate to compare myself to Lil Dirk, because that's what this sounds like. But when I tell you I'm independent, bro, everything that you see that's on this, that's that's ever gets done, unless I got like some fan art or some shit, everything that comes from from this platform is made and directed and curated, designed, edited, produced completely by me. Um. Do I feel like I can handle what people are putting Lil Dirk through? No. Um, and hopefully, I'm not saying that hopefully people, when people see Lil Dirk, they see me. I'm definitely not saying that because I can see myself regretting saying that. But, you know, sometimes we fail to see like who this person or who these people were like before they you know became what they are of like or before they became a product of their surroundings i see that shit a lot like i just hope they don't do my mans like that you know what i'm saying once again you know we still surviving you know um black men are trying to survive you know um it's kind of fucked up this word for me you know what i'm saying um obviously you always want to do more than survive and exist but you know, it kind of, it's like, you know, black men, I'm not just going to say black men, but men, period, are like, like, we're surviving, you know, or we trying to survive, and I hope that nobody's surviving, you know, I, oh, shit, you know what I'm saying, I see people like, oh, you know, are like these older men that are like fucking unbelievably baby-proofed so they don't fucking offend the fucking gay motherfucker, Fuck you, you gay bitch. Fag, fuck, no bitch, fuck ass, shit, K, fuck. Stop traumatizing, paranoid, the fuck out these old men, bitch. Fuck you, gay bitch. Ah! Fucking bitch, fuck, face, fuck you, fuck. Fuck all of you. And sometimes that's, I know how, I mean, you know what I'm saying? This mother, you made this motherfucker read the whole book on these fucking pronoun goofy dumb shit, bitch. Ah! I can feel the fuck, you know what I'm saying? That's why I don't deal with these bitches. You know what I'm saying? November 2024, bro. You're not the fuck alone. You know what I'm saying? Um, Don't fucking die, bro. Don't die. It's not, you're not alone. Them bitch ass, they're, they're, you're not alone. Um, Fuck them fuck whoever said yeah and then fuck whoever said no and and fuck them because they don't even understand what you just said there so yeah you won anyways um and stop you know what paranoia or like the the dropping of weight stop letting these just bitch i don't give a fuck who you fuck i don't give a fuck about your booty bitch i don't give a fuck who you fuck 
We don't care who you fucking bitch. We don't care who you let fuck. We don't care who you into. We don't give a fuck what you like. I'm trying to fuck my wife and I don't want you fucking my son. I'm not going to feel bad about that shit no more, nigga. Fuck that. I'm not going to feel bad about this shit, nigga. I'm, that's how I feel. God, gang. On gang. Sometimes I said it, bro. It just, ah. I don't want you to fuck with my son. Ah! You wake up out of bad nightmares and shit. Like, ugh. Cause it's like real shit. And these bitches like these, they, I'm, excuse me. These motherfuckers are really play with these niggas like this. And then they, then they on the other end of, oh, he's homophobic. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, he done got mad enough to smack the fuck out some gay dude at a parade. So now he's hated by the gay community as a whole. You know what I'm saying? Shit like this. Like I pray for niggas like that. They really like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, fell on the list of niggas who hate gay motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, 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 this shit real, bro. And it's like, motherfucker be so paranoid. Like, you can see, oh, I be seeing old white man. Like, he he learn, he know everything about sex and motherfucking pronouns and shit now because the motherfucker had to catch him up because he called a motherfucker he on accident. And he don't never want to feel awkward no more. Man, he thought you was a dude, bitch. He thought you was a dude, bitch. The fuck wrong with y'all? You niggas are crazy. Man, leave these motherfuckers alone, bitch. You know he can't tell if you a bitch. <laughs> you know he can't tell if you a nigga. You know you look like a nigga and a girl. Stop. Why is you mad? Leave these motherfuckers alone, man. What the fuck, bro? It's 2024, bitch. We don't care because you don't want to be no nigga no more. We don't get no fuck. Fuck you. But anyway, man, this man, this fucking pod has been entirely too long, and I still did not talk about everything that that I needed to talk about. But I feel like we got a lot of shit out the way. Um, like I told y'all, man, we on our way to a million organic views. Um, right now we're at about nine hundred thousand. So I want y'all to fucking run everything up. If y'all haven't checked them fucking beats out yet. I'm about to post a whole new set of um of instrumentals that I think y'all will really fuck with. Um don't forget y'all, don't forget to download the Rap Chat app today. It's the best way to jot down quickly your music ideas and your rap ideas. Go download Rap Chat app today. It's like the best rap app ever. Um and big shout out to YouTube Shorts. Thank you guys so much for funding and sponsoring this show. Um, thank you, for, thank you, YouTube, for everything that you guys do for everything. Like I told y'all, man, we just watched 2.3 million people tap in to watch the presidential debate, and I'm about to make a thousand people watch a video. So y'all, thank y'all for everything that you do. You are one of those million of people, and every million of you fucking count. I love y'all. Um, thank you to YouTube Shorts. Thank you to YouTube. Thank you to Google. It's a Google world. Y'all go get y'all go grab that pixel. Um, I'm gonna try to do the same this year. I still ain't got that bread up yet, but that that thing it's not even expensive. Though. I think it's like twelve. But I want the fold, so I'm I don't know which one to get. I'll, should I get the should I get the eight A again or should I get the fold? Y'all let me know in the comments, man. And um, thank you to Google. Thank you to YouTube Shorts. And uh, man, y'all just keep watching the show, man. Keep commenting. Um, somebody told me the other day that uh. Well, this is what this is what I'm gonna leave y'all with. What's my last note? Okay, so like, and I'm gonna leave y'all with this. Okay, um, bees like honey, but if you set some water out, you will get some gnats eventually. Some bugs gonna come fly around you. You know what I'm saying? Um, never ever, never ever wonder if the grass is greener, cause it never the fuck is. Or even if it seem as though it is. It's just a fucking horizon, and there's so many of them. Never be disappointed 
when you get to a horizon because there will always be another one um if you bees like honey but if you set some water out you'll get some gnats fuck what the fuck they talking about fuck what the fuck they is talking about if they on your ass if they talking about you fuck them hoes um this the xclnt podcast um if you want to have an excellent life keep excellent company and um man it's your boyfriend girlfriend once again man november 2024 i love y'all stay safe man don't be afraid to cook and don't go out to eat man stay safe man make make her cook that food go ahead and cook yourself something to eat man learn some learn some new recipes man stay home and cook man motherfuckers tweaking bro um and save that money man save that money stop eating wings stop every motherfucking day stop eating checkers every goddamn night man say that money man and um yeah man it's the xclnt podcast we want to have an excellent life keep excellent company it's your girlfriend boyfriend this has been jeremy hayward this is gold boy talking to y'all man i love y'all don't forget to go vote if you still haven't and um man kamala for president man this is crazy bro and um and still man in spite of it all man shout out trump shorty i hope that man stay safe bro and we all you know, all y'all stay safe man i love y'all to death man um bees like honey but if you set some water out you'll get some gnats fuck what the fuck they talking about man it's the xclnt podcast <laughs> and kill all jellyfish <laughs> nigga kill all jellyfish nigga Murphy <laughs> Carson. kill all jellyfish nigga that's for the morning Thank <laughs> you.